everybody, Chris here, and today I wanted to show you a quick trick you can use within Photoshop to add a border to your YouTube thumbnails. Now, of course, if you're going to be creating a YouTube thumbnail, you should have a 1280 by 720 image picked out. Uh, it could just be a screenshot from your video or something like that. And once you have your image selected and uh, the canvas size set to 1280 by 720, of course, you want to select the rectangle tool. Now this allows you to create a rectangle of any size. You can drag and drop, but the actual easier way to do this is to simply double click on the screen and which it'll give you a create rectangle pop-up. Now what you want to set here is the exact resolution of your thumbnail, which is going to be 1280 by 720. Now by doing that, we create a rectangle, which of course is the same size as our image. To do a border though, we want to make the background color, that's this first box over here, set to nothing. And we want to choose any kind of color. Uh, it could also be a gradient if you prefer for the border itself. So we'll go with say a yellow here just because it's highly visible. And we will set it to 15. Now if we want to actually make this centered so that the border is actually a border and not cutting into our, our image. We just drag and drop this until it perfectly aligns. You'll see the cross in the middle when we have it in place. We set it there and uh, there we essentially have a border for Photoshop. Now, it, whoops. <laughs> now if we uh, want to go a little bit beyond that, we can do things like set an uh, opacity. So we take this, we set it to 50%, and by having the rectangle selected as the layer, when we do that, what it does is it makes it so that the border is 50% visible, which is good if you want it to be a little bit more subtle than it may have been before. Now, of course, just to show, you can do gradients, you can do patterns if you have any patterns. So select a pattern there, and that may be quite a bit cooler than just having a simple color. Right, let's go ahead and uh, do a gradient here. Okay, so yeah, that's something I sometimes use. You fade from one color to another color, and that's the whole idea behind gradients. You can change the angle if you want, so that it's a little bit less top to bottom and more snazzy, I guess you could say. So that's essentially all there is to creating a simple border within Photoshop for your YouTube thumbnail. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this trick with me. If you have any comments or questions, feel to leave them down below. Aside from that, I've been Chris, and I will see you all next time.